Hello everybody, it's me, it's me, it's DAB, the one and only, and welcome back to the Mega Man 6 LP. Okay guys, we have two more Robot Masters to tackle today. So we're going to start off with Flame Man, who has one of my favorite designs of a fire-based robot. Honest, I don't think I, they almost ever miss with the fire-based Robot Masters. They just don't. Flame Man's weapon, uh, the source of Mega Man's down smash in Super Smash Bros. 4 and Smash Ultimate. Sorry, Mets. I need that, thank you now. Uh, I could use the jet adapter to get over there, or if I had the power adapter, which is kind of silly, because I'm pretty sure you get the power adapter from here. Uh, if you let those things live, see how there's oil here? They will drop little fireballs in the oil and make instant death pits. They basically become spikes. Go ahead, point at me. I dare you. Thank you. On our way. These guys can only be taken up by a charged, a fully charged Mega Buster shot, and you need them for several parts of the level where you make a little air pump out of them and ride them across the stage. I kind of love it. Now, here's where things start to get real. You automatically, I feel you probably could take those things out. I have, I never have. Well, not before they can set the oil field on fire. Look at me go. Look at those skills that I usually lack in Mega Man games. These things will only fire once you're in their line of sight. You can take them out pretty quickly. No drops, really? We're not giving me anything today? That's alright, I don't need it. These things you can stop temporarily by shooting them with a fully charged buster shot. I tend to not worry about them. Those are probably my favorite. I don't know what they're called, because I don't know what most Mega Man enemies are. I like no Mets. Those are like one of my favorite design, and I swear to you, they bring that back for Magma Man. Like, as a base in uh, Mega Man 9. I didn't really need that right there, but you, you know what? There's no fire here. So yeah, why take any hits? I don't need to. Cool. Thank you, Jet Adapter. Oh! At least they don't leave flame behind, like those other, uh, things that are trying to ignite the stage. Yeah, that guy just needs to die right now. Okay. Unnecessary. Get out your windstorm. <laughs> Sorry, guy. You know how I am when I'm playing, like, a Mega Man game, or really anything where, like, it gets complicated, I stop talking for a second. All of Flame Man's attacks are slow. I'm not good at dodging them, but they are slow. And when he does his uh, Flame Pillar thing, it's... You just gotta look where he's firing it. So, like, right there in the center. Yeah, that's where you want to be. And if he does his... Th three Fire Blasts? Buddy, what are you doing? I want him to show off his other attack. He shoots three really slow fireballs at you. Which are not hard to avoid. The only thing that makes this fight take longer than it needs to is the uh, Robot Masters get, like, set, uh, momentary invulnerability if you shoot them, so you can't just spam your weapon at them like you can in some later Mega Man games. Or also, I guess it's because your uh, weapons have such rapid fire. And now we have the power adapter. Uh, we'll stage select. And now we go to Blizzard Man, who, uh, if you go back to part one... And look at him, like, from the front. I feel like he looks like he has a big, dumb smile. I like his stage, though. There's not too much ice to deal with. Not a whole lot of unfair bullshit, I don't think. Uh-oh. Okay, cool. We're good. That could have hurt. I don't know why you have, um, walruses charging spirit bombs, but they do. From here, you can use your fire blast and melt those ice pillars and we're gonna get our jet adapter out and just get past that there we go we're good get, get past the cameras they don't matter not take any damage um 
You know what? We'll take the bottom half because I don't need what's down there. You know, never mind. Taking the top half. Taking the top half. Taking the top half. I don't care. Leave me alone, camera. Oh, what am I doing? Pay attention, Austin. Alright, come over this way, camera. Come this way. Come on a little more. Can I do it? Yes! Okay. Pull out your plant barrier and automatically do it while the camera's open. Dead. Okay. Get out your power adapter. Life. Gotta love it. I don't think there's anything down here I've got to worry too much about. Uh, no, just these, uh, curling blocks. I'm sorry to anybody who follows curling. I don't know what those are called in the sport. You got your standard Mega Man Shield enemies. I think of it in, if not every game, almost every game. Get your Fire Blast out, get this nice free E-Tank. And I promise you, if you're only using it on those fire pillars, you still have plenty for Blizzard, man. He does not take a whole lot of damage to die. Or a lot of shots, rather. Come on, shield. I ain't taking unnecessary risks. And one more again, and he's dead. If you hit those guys with the uh, power adapter, they, like, go flying back before they explode. It's kind of funny. Part of me wants to see if I can do it. I didn't really need help, but I'll take it. Yeah, okay, there was no... I, I could have probably avoided that. I can take this. There's another one coming up that I can't avoid nearly as easily as that one. But that's okay. Okay, now we're where the ice physics kind of want to screw you over. Go on to the yellow submarine. That's constantly bobbing in and out of the water. I don't know what those particular Joe enemies are called. They're a variant on the Sniper Joe. Not hard to take out. Off-screen him real quick. Yeah, and um, your bullets care which direction you're falling right here. I don't know why it's kind of hilarious to me. Get your power adapter back out. Now, oh, I forgot to mention, you can't slide with these attachments. Either one of them. So do this, wait it out, go back to being able to slide. So you can very quickly make your way across, get this free E-Tank, let it go, not gonna hurt you. Book it back across. That was an unnecessary risk I did not need to take, but I did. But we're okay. Um, I don't feel I need the jet adapter right here, you can usually make this pretty safely. Yeah, we're good. And if you screw up the jet adapter here will be a little more helpful. But just don't screw up and you'll be fine. Because I don't want to imagine what it's like making that jump. Well, you could probably respawn the bombs now that I think about it, but we're not going to test that hypothesis. Uh, I guess I can handle that one pretty good. Never mind. Sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to get my jet adapter out because I don't trust myself right now. And I am recording this, not like late, but like... Not too far off of when I go to bed. So I'm kind of tired. Get your flame, uh, yeah, your fire blast out. For not a particularly difficult one, but I, his weapon, his special weapon is almost impossible for me to dodge. Because it spawns randomly and they go in different directions. This would be Plant Man's weakness, by the way. See what I mean? It, they spawn randomly. Slide away from him. I'm sure someone can dodge him, I just can't. But yeah, only takes like, what, four or five shots with your fire blast and he's done. And that gives us the blizzard attack, and I hate this special weapon. I might use it on Plant Man, I might not. It doesn't work so good. I'm not a fan. Now, this one might seem a little bit shorter, but that is what we're going to call this one. So thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time.